and master the creative method of thought. What, what is that about? You see, we know based on the new thought leadership that came out about 100, 120 years ago, that there is a scientific creative way of thinking in, in which when you follow, when you master, when you learn and apply the creative scientific method of thought, you're actually able to, we've all heard of the law of attraction, and this is how the law of attraction actually works in practice. And we study three books in the curriculum. The first is book one of the trilogy called The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace D. Waddles, published in 1907. If anything, it's more relevant today than it was 111 years ago when it was published because so many people are looking for a way of creating freedom and autonomy in their lives. And tonight we are going to be going over the preface in chapter one, two, and three. And what you, the real message for this presentation, you will find that there is indeed a science for getting rich. But you know, the question is where did this material originate? Where did it, where, where did it come from? And how far back does it go? How much validity, how much, you know, critical mass can you actually find in this material? Was it just one man's brainchild or was it indeed the result of not just decades and not just century but millennia and millennia and millennium worth of knowledge that was passed down one from basically lip to ear lip to ear lip to ear and finally was codified and originally this material can be found inscribed in stone tablets that go back to Egypt over 5,000 years ago, the time of the prophet Abraham. And then it was passed down. You found a lot of it in Hindu thought. In fact, what you find in Hindu thought that you also find in Hermetic philosophy is what's known as the monistic theory of the universe, which is there is one substance from which all things are made. And as this is one of the concepts that we master, we learn, and we evolve throughout the entire curriculum series. But this all, this thinking substance, enables us to come in harmony and communication. And by impressing our thoughts upon this formless substance, we're able actually to cause, to begin to cause the things that we think about to be created. What's the relevance of that to us? What kind of life do you want to create for yourself? Who do you want to be? What do you want to do? What do you want to have? It's limitless because we are in fact related to, in touch with, and come in, can come in harmony with this unlimited, infinite substance, this creative thinking stuff, which is the fabric of the universe. Now, this book, this particular book, is not philosophical, it's practical. It is for the individual that doesn't have the time to spend years and years studying philosophies, reading Emerson and Hegel and Genevieve B. Rand and Thomas Troward and, and getting into the, uh, the, the, the intricacies of how the philosophy works. What Wallace Waddles has done is distilled all the knowledge into a practical guide of just actually doing it. In chapter one, what Wallace Waddles poses is who has the right to be rich? Well, indeed, everybody has that right. And the reason that we have that right is because we are here in physical form. Now, we are spiritual beings with an intellect living in a physical body. And we have the ability, you see, to have full expression physically, intellectually, and our soul, our spirit, but only if we have the use of things. Again, we're living on the physical plane. We have to have use of things. This is the way society is organized. It requires us to buy things, to purchase anything. We want a house, we want a car, we want a vacation, we want a beautiful work of art, we want to expand our mind, go to Italy or France or Australia or Asia, we have to have the money to do so. So actually the basis for all advancement is the possession of money, the ability to have money. So if you boil down to it, what is the most critical aspect 
of life, of study, of achievement, of attainment. It is to understand and apply the science of getting rich. So this is what we in the Wealth Creation Mastermind are engaged in. Now this is a nine month curriculum, 36 weeks, but, and we do two webinars a week, Monday night, the curriculum, Tuesday night, the lifestyle and freedom call, where we actually begin to put in practice what we we are learning intellectually. Now, the the benefit to you of this material is that as you go through it, you begin to understand it, and you begin to apply the specifics, and we strongly encourage, highly encourage, very strongly recommend that you read the material as we work through this uh, this trilogy of books. Because by developing that, what you're going to know is, is how to achieve any advancement that you want, how to live the lifestyle of your dreams. And you know, what is the objective of life? What is, what are we here for? Life is all about development. Life is about fuller expression. And if you think about the purpose of nature, from, from, from the smallest organism, the, 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 a nano, a quark, a, uh, you know, a, a neutron, an electron, a proton, they're, they're attracted through this, this force, negative and positive, coming together. That creates an atom. An atom becomes a molecule. A molecule becomes a cell. A cell, you know, combines to form organisms. Organisms combine to form entities, people, humans, society, on and on and on and on it goes. And so this, this nature, <clears throat> you know, this essential purpose of nature is for development, <clears throat> excuse me, it's for fuller expression. It's for continuous and unending life development and an expression of everything possible and potential. What is the one thing <clears throat> every person should have? As much as they desire. Why? Because the more you're able to have, the more you're able to do. The more you're able to do, <clears throat> the more you're able to evolve. The more you're able to evolve, the more you're able to contribute back to the development of the race. I mean, it is an endless cycle of good, and that is what this material is all about. So, you know, what, what is success in life is simply being able to be, do, and have everything that you think is imaginable and possible. So, if you're not right now able to just, just take a, you know, a, a moment to reflect, look in the mirror and ask, Am I living the absolute apex of the life I envision for myself? And if not, this is the material that is relevant for you. Uh, and the reason it's important to study this material is because it's the key that unlocks that. We are, you know, we, we are triune beings. We've mentioned before that we are motivated on the physical, the intellectual, and the spiritual level. And, you know, th there is no highest motivation. All three are equally in balance. You can't live fully for just the body, just the intellect, or just the soul, with the exclusion of, of all the others, because we are having this spiritual, you know, being with an intellect, having a physical experience, and all three interplay and balance and weave back and forth. And so it is actually critical to really uh, to, to, to look inside and ask, what is my desire? Because what a desire is, is a purpose seeking expression. It is an experience waiting to happen. And so the reason that it's so critical, and we're not materialists per se, but we must have material things in order to live fully, in order to experience the earth and our lives on earth as completely as possible to realize our fullest potential. And that is, in a sense, our divine duty. Now, the beauty of this particular book is that what Wallace Waddles has done is he has decoded this to a series of understanding natural laws of the universe. It's just like when you look into this picture, what you see is perspective. 
Why does perspective work? It works by math. It works by law. It works by rule. If you draw a picture in a certain way, you get a certain result. If you do an algebraic formula in a certain way, you get a certain result. If you will think and act in a certain way, you will get specific results. So there are there are actually laws that govern this process of acquiring riches and 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 the the place to start is the law of cause and effect like causes always produce like effects so the important critical thing is to learn what that is and it's like you know think back to high school algebra or physics or any form of mathematics and what you know is it's all based on world now did we did we dis, did we invent mathematics no it actually all the rules all the laws all the principles pre-existed we simply discovered them right and found, and how did we send a man a spaceship to the moon and bring it back over and over and over and over again by applying these natural laws that were discovered. And so it's exactly the same thing with the science of getting rich. Discovering how to call money, attract money, and to enable yourself to, to attract into your life what you envision, what you desire, what you create mentally with your thought process is the science of getting rich. Now, the, the, the limiting factors are, yes, you do have to apply your, your thought process. You do have to read, contemplate, and understand the material. And then, you know, knowledge unused is worthless. You must apply what you're learning. But when you learn it, gain knowledge, and apply it, then you're, you're, you're having fuller expression. You are participating in this upward spiral of, of the natural order of life. And getting rich is, is, the re, is, is the result of doing things in a certain way. You ask yourself, well, you know, does it require hard work? Or, the, or do I have to do things that other people don't want to do? You know, what, what is really required here? Well, look, it, here's the interesting thing. You're able to take two people side by side doing the same thing and one is having success, one is not, you've probably seen this, experienced it, uh, you know, real estate professionals or accountants or stockbrokers or, <clears throat> oh my gosh, any, any, pick any, any, you know, example that you choose and you can take a look at two people that are in essence performing identically and yet one is having results, the other isn't. Why? Because of this thought process, because of this ability to think and act in a certain way. Now, <clears throat> is that certain way so difficult that it's this, <clears throat> this razor's edge that you cannot succeed at maintaining? Or is it indeed achievable? Well, here's the beautiful part, is that anybody can become rich. Everybody, anybody, there are no limits. The the beauty of this is that no, it is not so difficult. In fact, there have been countless numbers of people who, since this material was published 111 years ago, taken and applied it and succeeded because it does work that precisely. So what, what do you have to learn to do things in a certain way? You have to learn what's called the scientific creative method of thought and you will get your first overview of that creative scientific method of thought in Wallace Waddle's book. You'll move on to, the, to uh, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill and finally The Kabbalion. And, and ask yourself, what kind of business should I be in? One that you have a talent for. Monopoly or, you know, success is not monopolized. Opportunity, look at, uh, you know, here you have an, an example. Elon Musk comes into the car industry. What is he really doing? He invented a new form of battery. And with that battery, his company, Tesla, is one of the hottest in, uh, companies in, in the entire automobile industry, right? I, I mean, a, a stock valuation almost bigger than Ford or General Motors. Now, the, the, the message there is that no one is kept 
from opportunity. See, no one is, is kept down because opportunity is monopolized or is being taken, taken away because there's always, always channels available to you. You just have to know where the tide of opportunity is flowing. And what de determines the tide of opportunity is the level of achievement and advancement of civilization and society and the needs at the time. What do people need? They need autonomy, they need freedom, they need opportunity, they need a way of, of leveraging the ability to create passive reproductive residual income without trading time for money. And, and, and there is no limited supply. I mean, original substance is infinite and unlimited. Even if all the gold and silver were dug from the hills, more would be created. But on, on the level of infinite supply, formless substance, there is no limit whatsoever. And, and you know, what does it respond to? It responds to intelligence. It responds to the intelligent ability to think creatively, act creatively, and call it creatively, and never forget that we are here for a finite period of time. We don't have an endless meal ticket. Now, the universe is actually a great living presence that we are blessed to experience on the physical level. And these, this, the resources of this formless supply are at the command and they respond to men and women who are able to act and think in a certain way and that is what we are studying so that's why for next week make sure to read chapter four the prince the first principle of the science getting rich chapter five increasing life and chapter six how riches come to you be prepared for this program next week think in a certain way read study contemplate and apply what you're learning on a daily basis take incremental steps write an affirmation and repeat it emotionalize it, feel it, Be, you know, fall in love with your affirmation, subscribe to, you know, go to our website. It's a resource there for you. The weekly newsletter, subscribe, the curriculum webcast, subscribe, the financial freedom webcast, surprise, and act in a certain way. Decide exactly who you want to be, what you want to do, what you want to have. Determine exactly how much money that's going to take. Identify streams of income will help will actually help you execute a plan. We have income generators that we can share with you. And that's what we do on the Tuesday, same time, same link. So I want to really commend you for being here and participating in this first official inauguration of the curriculum. Mm -hmm.